start like that. Easy going world. Welcome back to Nomadius. The name I was given is Thaddeus. Thank you all for tuning in to today's video. I'm just here enjoying my last week in Ethiopia. Uh, I had my trip extended a bit um, by God's will. God always has a plan, so you know, I try not to put any resistance to it. So um, right now, I'm just uh, exploring Deborah's Day Bishoftu a little bit more. Uh, today, I'm probably gonna go to another lake, Lake Chalaklaka. And so, yeah, let's see what uh, see what the journey takes us. Look at the beautiful ass cow. Can I not you? Divine timing. Divine timing. Divine timing. Today, I'm here to talk about divine timing. Because I feel like it's been showing up in my life recently, and I feel like it's something that people out there in the world really need to hear right now. So, uh, right now, we're about to keep on going with the journey. Um, back at the crib, just uh, cleaned up about to go not really sure but to some destination and we'll be there in divine timing so here special 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 well not this thing but <laughs> this uh this wall this this gibby this uh compound a very special compound to my heart it's where my grandparents uh raised my father and my uh aunts and uncles and where i get to stay now luckily um so i'm thankful for this place um, so this whole place has changed over the years from what I've heard. Uh, there used to just be jaguars chilling in the, in the compound. There should just be hyenas all around here. Now you just got dogs like that over there. Just the modern day hyenas, I guess, in a way. But, um, yeah, this is, uh, we show to, this is what it looks like on a daily life. Now, right now, um, go, ooh, I want to show you all this. This is how people protect their, like, instead of barbed wire fences, they'll put glass like this. So, you know, uh, thieves or people don't, you know, come into their house. Um, and yeah, now we're going to Adivinia. Actually, I was going to say we're going to, but we've arrived to Aragenya, Andenya, Andunya, Fakadak Anna's house. Uh, about to drink some coffee. Kind of just a daily thing. You just pull up to a neighbor's house, drink some coffee, and you know, just chop it up. So. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> oh. We just got to, where are we at, Beanie? What's the name? Agemov. Agemov? Agemov. What does that mean? You can see it's pretty beautiful. 
the rain stopped. It came on a pretty good day. Usually it costs some amount. Luckily today it's free. Divine timing. Divine timing. We came in divine timing. So uh, really what, what I'm trying to get through with divine timing is when you go into your inner world and you connect with uh, with whatever helps you connect with your inner world, whether that's source, whether that's the universe, whether that's God, whether that's Xavier, whatever, whatever that is for you to connect with your inner world, you'll be able to connect with the outer world. And so once you create that connection, you'll always be in divine timing. And divine timing doesn't mean something that you understand at this exact moment. That's something more that there's a divine reason to it all happening. Um, but you just got to trust the process. Just got to trust. You got to have faith. And you got to know that, like, there's always a time and a place for everything that you do, that you say, that you act, that you think. So trust, have faith, and let's keep going. Isn't this just so peaceful? Nature with its own sounds, fresh air, the new life, the new death, just the process of change. A journey. is beautiful. So y'all, another, I feel like a really big part of being really aligned with divine timing is knowing that self-love is service for all. So to break that down, self-love, meaning not just in the sense of what you do, but also in the way that you perceive yourself and the way that you perceive your actions and the way that you perceive your thoughts, um, also in the way that you even perceive others because if you have self-love for yourself or even in the ultimate if you have love for others then it's usually a lot easier to have love for yourself you're much more if you're accepting of others you're usually very much more accepting of yourself self-love being service for all so the way i look at it is 
when I show up for myself in my day, whether that be just in my routine, whether that be in the way that I thought about myself, whether that be in the way that, um, the fact that I just fed myself, I'm able to handle anything that comes my way. Stressful situation, challenges, amazing situations, um, you know, blessings that come to me. Um, and so, on the other end, we have to remember that, you know, we're kind of taught to live sort of in like an individualistic society where what we feel matters more than what other people are going through. So let me just focus on myself. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, we're human beings and we are human beings for a reason. We are social animals um, and we have to be able to be in service for each other. We've only gotten this far, like literally everything around us has happened because of humans being in service. Not to say that there hasn't been other, any other forces, but um, I mean like humans, we, 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 we've done so much. So remembering that when I'm, in, when, I'm, when I'm loving myself, when I'm showing up for myself, and let's say my friend or my sister or my brother is going through something, they're able to come to me because they're in a place where it's challenging or maybe they're not able to show themselves their selves love um, and I'm able to help them. So self-love being service for all. So in me showing up for myself, someone was able to come to me and I was able to help them show up for themselves. And even in the reverse end, I'm not perfect and I never wanna be perfect because that means that I'll never be able to, to you know, engage with humans. If I'm perfect, why do I need anybody else? Or well, the way I looked at it is if uh, universe, God, source made me perfect, then would I have, would I have ever moved? But the way I look at it is um, I had to make you uncomfortable or you would have never moved. My name is life. So in that sense, when I'm in an uncomfortable place, I'm not able to figure it out. I'm able to lean on to somebody else who's been showing themselves self-love. But if we're all just in this hating place, where we're all just projecting, we're all just, just hating on each other, hating on ourselves, hating on our thoughts, hating on our creations, how are we gonna be able to, who's gonna lift us out of our own problems? This is a proverb. Um, in Ethiopia uh, it goes a farmer without a donkey is the donkey himself and the way I perceive that is a being without tools to solve their problems becomes the becomes the problem themselves <laughs> so you know self-love is really a tool remember that and in being in that place of self-love trust that you will be in divine timing and that might just be that you showed up for the right opportunity for yourself or you showed up to help somebody just when they needed it you know the things are beyond us but just remember that self-love is literally service for yourself for others and everything around you Welcome to Biniam's uh, be bedroom. Him and his friends. The elephant. The the the, the horse. Yes, Beanie. That is a cheetah. Yes. Yes, Beanie. That is definitely a cheetah. You, yeah, I know you're serious, right? <laughs> It's a giraffe, by the way. Me. It's a giraffe. <laughs> Such a gun. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. Didn't know they have this stuff in the neighborhood. That is, for some reason, extremely magical. Maybe it's a white horse or something, but something about this is extremely magical. What do y'all think? 
Let me know in the comments. How much would I have to pay you to ride this by yourself? I need to have a great bit of freedom. I'm going to say, I'm going to do it. Well, y'all, feeling like putting this journey to an end right now. Feel like I've gotten out what people need to hear, what I what I've got to say to y'all. And I just, at the end, just want to thank you all for tuning in. Thank you all so much, honestly, from my heart, for liking, for subscribing, for sharing the video, for just watching. Honestly, it's y'all support that keeps me going. Um, I was at a place where I used to doubt myself about being able to talk about just the things that I believed. I know, right? Isn't it just... <laughs> As Vinny is recording me. <laughs> His face is like, hmm, what's that smell? Like, this is just heavenly right here. Uh, one of the last things that I want to drop is, in our world, we live in a, we live in a, in a mindset that we have to be in a rush to everything. Whether that be like we feel like we're gonna miss something, we're gonna be late to something, um, and even when we don't have to rush. So, I uh, just got cut off. Maybe for the third, fourth time, not sure. Point is, working. Um, and uh, like I was saying, we rush things that we don't have to rush. We rush the smallest things, we rush the biggest things. Um, but we just gotta remember, everything is aligning for me. Everything is aligning for you. Everything is aligning for us. Um, and one, one thing I always, always tell myself whenever I'm in a place of worrying about what am I gonna make it, am I late, or anything like that. Where I'm meant to be is where I will be. So I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. So with that, remember the trees are still growing. The wind is still blowing. The rain is still pouring. And the water is still flowing. So get out there. Because we are still living life, y'all. Nomadius out. Sit down. Just, what are you afraid of? Look, this shit. This is this is working amazing. This is one of the best design things I've ever seen in my life. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna break. On God, on God, that's breaking, meanie. <laughs> yeah, there's no fuel. Antemoker. Wait, in here, I won't do that. Today, no. Show me a regular.